more careful to assess them. This one's mine. Follow Destroy me. the Orioles. <laughs> the computer cannot deny me. Oh my god. <laughs> One dead. Store some life, you know, catch. Ooh. Oh, it's not going so well, mate. Kneel before the saints. What the hell I'm getting my ass handed to me? Anyway, trying to design a software is hard. Already written and drawn like four pages all through into the bin again. God damn. Right, there must be a better way of doing this rather than me just jumping doing like an idiot. Enemy is upon us. Destroy the Orioles. Right, I think I'll try and help this one here first. For the mad <laughs> Golden Saint Commander is dead. I should finish off the remaining Golden Saints to complete the Dark Seducer's victory. Right, I'll save it here. Run away! Run away! Run away! Why are they all after me? All of them. After me, you can go. Oh. 
probably looking now. Gonna be that far off I'm getting them all dead now. Oh damn it, God. Run away. Run away. how much this stuff costs. They are all dead. Oh, look at my health! That's a bit crazy. Oh, I'm over encumbered. What to get rid of? Because this stuff is amazing. Look all of them. All of them. They can go. That can go, because that weighs probably a bit too much. Because that's 21. And that is 44. Mm. Now I'm over encumbered. You got arrows in your. N oh my god! I've been penetrated. Ooh. Ow! That looks sore. Hearts of Iron 4, I actually quite like it. I quite like it. Quite like it. Alright, let's just make sure everything is working properly. Don't know why it crashed here, but hopefully it hasn't affected too much. Never missed much. I only just noticed it popped up red there when I was looking at the commander. But I've only literally just walked from the commander to here, so we haven't they hopefully missed too much. Mm -hmm. Hearts of Fire, and I do quite like it. I find it quite difficult to get the correct setups for it. Because it's very hard to get like enough defense in your in your infantry or tanks and stuff enough defense attack or penetration because you've got to set it up where like you have one group that's good at defending one group that's really good at attacking uh, it's just it, it boggles my mind completely victory is ours i have already instructed my subordinates to kindle the altar of rapture it is my honor to sacrifice myself on the altar of despair at Lord Sheogoreth's command. The altars which feed the flame of Agnon can be kindled only by the willing death of an immortal. I have hoped for this moment since I took command of the Mazkin at Cylarn. I return my soul to the embrace of Oblivion's dark waters. Farewell. What 
the hell? Okay. Well, she had a fiery ending. <laughs> she sacrificed herself on the altar of despair in order to light the flame. I can now retrieve the flame from the courtyard and bring it to New Sheoth as she Shigoroth commanded. Quite hot, that girl. Eve. <laughs> oh my god. Yes, she did commit suicide. Wait, did she commit Sudoku? She did. Hopefully she found all the numbers. <laughs> These people are mental in this land. Completely mental. But hey, we completed that part. Well, nearly completed it. We just need to take the flame back to the crucible. Is it the crucible it's called? progress. You'd fit in quite well there, I think. You like Sudoku as well. <laughs> oh, I need to grab the flame first before I go. How may I serve? The Maz can do not forget their friends. No. But you're mental. Yeah. I can see that you're a bit mental. Wait, that was it. I had to step on the flame to get it. I am now... Oh, cool. And you see it in this section. No, it's just you're glowing. But I actually look like I'm on fire in this one. Who is my clone? Why are they fucking him? <laughs> he does nasty things to me, can't even describe. Wow. Wow. You guys are crazy. It's quite a cool effect. We got to, that you're the actual torch. Well, that's because I don't know if you're aware, but I'm a bit mental as well. You've brought it! The holy flame of Agnon, the fire of inspiration and rapture! If you light the great torch on the mania side of the Sasselum, you will be a hero to the people of Bliss, I assure you. Do not think about it. Ah, you burn with the purging fire of Agnon, the flame of truth, the flickering beacon of hope in the gloom of Despond. Come, light the great torch for dementia. Illuminate the conspiracies, deepen the shadows. The people of Crucible await their hero. You are truly demented, as I always suspected. 
Release yourself to your secret fears and desires. Let them rule you as they must in the end. Now, light the great torch as a beacon for those who fear and those who inspire fear. Who are we pissing off in game? Uh, I don't know. That I've lit the great torch. Oh, he's right there. I never noticed him when I came in. We're going to piss yes. off everyone. What is it? I'm not listening to you. It's because I don't like you. I know. I just killed a bunch of gold dudes. What's the point in? Yes. And side him with them. And I don't like you. Goodbye. Hello, the greatest character in any Elder Scrolls game again. Aren't you off to a good start? That's important for me. Really, your work is going to save me a lot of time. I think the reason they do it is just to make me choices in this. So you can get cheese for everyone. That's why you liked it on the dementia side. The Grey March is upon us, and the ordering begins. Armies of order sweep my realm. Death, destruction. Then I have to pick up the pieces. And there are always lots of pieces. I don't like it, having to rebuild my realm every era. Sometimes I forget where things go, like New Sheath. I can never remember where it belongs. You'll change that. Break the cycle. You'll stop Jigalag, and I'll have my realm to come back to. I've never actually tried that before. Well, you want to know what will stop the march? Cheese. For everyone. Why not? Something has to work! Once, I dug a pit and filled it with clouds. Or was it clowns? It doesn't matter, it didn't slow them down. To be honest, it wasn't the best idea. And it really began to smell! <gasps> Must have been clowns. Clouds don't smell bad, they taste of butter. And tears. What? Butter and but tears. This is all new. A fresh idea. Something I hadn't thought of. Until I did. It sure to work. Even though it might not. <laughs> I love him too. He's absolutely amazing. He's one of the best carters in this series, I feel. Or the best carter. I know clouds sound amazing if they taste a tears and butter. Now? You'll need the respect of my citizens. They'll need a leader, someone to look up to when I'm gone. They're the backbone of any great land. Except where the backbone is an actual backbone. Ever been to Malakath's realm? Oh, nasty stuff. But back to the business at hand. You'll need to control one of the carts of madness. Replace a current duke, or duchess, whichever. That will command respect. The people will rally around you. You'll have their love, their admiration, their complaints, whatever. As long as it keeps them on our side. Nothing wrong with salted butter. Nothing wrong with it at all. No. No, no, no. Absolutely not. Well, yes, absolutely. Bit of a shame for them. But sometimes you need to break a few eggs or skulls. There are rules, though, even in the Isles. Rituals and rules. You need to follow them. 
Speak to Artis and Ervenen, the high priest at the Sasellum Arden Sul. They can explain what needs to be done. And you've always got our man Haskell to call on for help. Faithful, like a good hound, that one. And he looks better in a suit. Have you actually seen what Haskell's wearing? He does not look good. Ah, come visit again! For I'll pluck out your eyes! <laughs> Every time. Tidings and welcome. The Great Torch flares with the light of dementia. All of Crucible will be celebrating tonight. Here, take this. The reward you have earned. Quickly now. It's best if no one knows you wear this. Remnant of intrigue added. Interesting. Not many wish to hear about such things, but I would be glad to oblige. Becoming the Duke of Dementia requires passage through the ritual of accession. Specific guidelines set forth by Arden Sul himself. Oh, boss man, you're crazy. Pleasure and pain be with you. I better sell stuff before I continue with this. Because I have no... I don't know why I've decided to go up here. It's not the correct way. Speak quickly, mortal. I think you'd do more to Haskell than just that, Mr. Bossman. Six AM, so oh, wait, or is that eleven? No. Nope. Come back here. Welcome back. I'm sure I have something here you can use. That's a good. That seems. I can accept that. I can accept that. That seems. That's a good deal. Oh yeah. If you need any. Remember, come to me for all your crafting needs. We're getting a gold from that swords. That's amazing swords. I need to collect more of them. Time to just to go around and start killing them for the swords. Mm-hmm. Those swords are. Every. If you're looking to unload some goods, you've come to the right place. I get rid of that. I, I can accept that. that. Ooh. That's quite good, that. And you get their armor as well. I don't think you can get their armor. It's just the sword and the shields. Right, so you got nothing else. If you have any, I could go back and pick up their swords and shields. To be honest, <laughs> which is severely tempting. <laughs> Let's go back and get their stuff and need the loot. <laughs> gimme, 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 gimme. Blessings, citizen. I want as much gold as possible to get all these places that I want to buy. I really need a better spell of light, don't I? Oh. I'll take that. That. Blessings, citizen. Oh, they were not worth a lot. Why did I pick them up? I drop all four of them just now. I'm touching my hand with my other. And, and it's cold. I don't know which hand is cold. 
How can you not know what chance is called? Leave this place. I thought there's more stuff there that was left behind. Obviously not, but that's another good little haul off of them, which really helps. <laughs> you don't know which hand is cold and which isn't. I'm sure there's a an easy way to figure out. Because neither hand felt cold normally. I think you've lost it. Speak, citizen. Oh, you. I can tell you. Every time I see the torch shine. Oh, don't. Oh, that's right. I've actually got to spot the Goodbye. area first before I tell him about it. Welcome back. I'm sure I have something here you can use. He's selling it for 2,400. I can accept. You've got a good deal. Seems a fair bargain to me. That's a good deal. Well, that's taking me. It's only within about 117,000 of all the gold I need. If you need anything else, you know where to find me. To buy every say. Goodbye. Every say? I mean every... Every house in every say. So... What's the time now? Five to five. So I've got... A little while yet, till I have to... Go to my parents. Why is the blood? Wait, why is the blood? Blood wasn't here before, was it? Yes. What is it? Things found? <laughs> no, it's no special occasion at all. There's no reason to shop. What did you? Seldom is the subject ever. Br Wait a moment. Did you want to hear the history of the ritual? As it happened so many years ago, my lord Arden Sewell suspected a traitor in his midst. Not wishing to find himself on the wrong end of a blade, he gathered his flock here in the Sacellum. By poisoning the sacramental wine, Arden Sewell was able to suppress any such conspiracy in one fell swoop. Just killed them all? Yes. He then removed their hearts from their bodies and used his ancient scrying technique, known as visceromancy, to read their lifeblood. When Arden Sewell couldn't divine the traitor's true nature in their hearts, he became distraught and took his own life in the same way. From that day on, the ritual of accession for the throne of dementia was set. Very well. Spoken like a true son of the demented. To become the ruler of dementia, the current leader's heart must be cut out and brought to the altar of Arden Sewell in the Sacellum. Once this is done, I can pronounce the heart bearer a duke or duchess. Then, all that is required is the blessing of our lord, Sheogora. I don't really want to do that to her, because she's quite cool. But... I've spoken to Arctus, High Priest of Dementia. The ritual of ascension for dementia is simple. Uh, Sly would... Or sh I cannot pronounce shy. Sly? Would have to be slain by the proposed successor and her heart brought to the altar of Aldrin Sul at the Sukamalo. I should now speak to the... Bye. Yeah. 
speak to him to see what he Type. does. I'm disappointed in your choice. Why you would choose to honor the fetid madness of Dementia is beyond my understanding. Yes, Arden Sul. Doesn't the name simply roll wonderfully off the tongue? He was the sovereign of thought and a regnant artist. To call him a simple craftsman would not suffice. Know him as the Artificer Superior. Words dripped like honey from his tongue, and his songs were intoned with extraordinary verisimilitude. Had we been blessed with his constant presence, the Isles would be a maniac's paradise. An important part of our history, my friend. I would be glad to tell the tale if you have a moment. Arden Sul was perhaps the greatest duke to walk our land. Many years ago, he decided to hold a night of absolute indulgence, resplendent with dance, wine, and sex, to celebrate his fondness for his brethren. The green moat flowed like water in a stream as the revelers voraciously succumbed to its rapturous wave. That sounds... That, uh, that's hardly sounds lethal. Ah, but it was. As the bacchanal reached a crescendo, the people began to clutch their chests as their very hearts exploded. The green moat had taken its toll. The ground stained a deep crimson as the sanguine liquid flowed from their lifeless bodies. To represent that night, when the ruler of mania is to be replaced, he partakes of the green moat and allows his lifeblood to flow upon the altar. Tell me what to do. Certainly. When the ruler of Mania has decided it is time, he will choose a successor from his court. The successor is invited to a huge celebration, a night of hedonistic revelry, wine, song, and of course, green moat. During this, the exiting regent imbibes three doses of the potent drug. This causes his heart to burst, and his lifeblood flows from his body. The successor then gathers the drug-tainted blood and brings it to the altar of Arden Sul in the Sacellum. Once this is done, I will proclaim the successor a duke or duchess. Then, Cheagorath gives his blessing, and the cycle is completed. Nice, so I've spoken to him. The current ruler to commit suicide by taking three doses of green moat, which is lethal. I need to take his drug tainted blood, must be brought to the altar, and after I should decide which ritual to undertake, I should return to Shirgarth and inform him of my choice. Oh. Again. With the choices, but I'm going to stick with dementia. I went into the dementia start. I've given the flame to dementia. So, oh well, there's only one area to go. You're back. How nice for you. Does that mean you've made a decision, or are you lost, suicidal? Just let me know. A friendly word of warning before you choose. Once you've decided which duke to replace, there's no turning back. One choice. No more. No less. Try not to do something stupid. So which is it? What will it be? Mania? Dementia? The suspense is killing me! Or you, if I have to keep waiting. 
Mm, I'm not quite ready yet, to be honest. I hate indecision! Or maybe I don't. Well, make up your mind, or I'll have your skin made into a hat! <gasps> One of those arrows. I don't know. My internet seems to be playing up again. But... So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and try and see if there's any issues I can fix it with. And... It's gonna be quite close. I know it is weird. So I think I will go to see if there's any issues with my internet. See if... See if it's just little issues. But I'll call this the end of the stream just now. I will probably be back on later on. <laughs> Family friend just turned up and asked for a pitchfork. That is quite a weird request. And did you give it to them though? Yeah, so I'm going to call this the end of the stream just now, but I will be back on later, so I will see you later, Mr. Bossman. I'll see you later, Marsh, even though you're, you've just disappeared. Bye.